in here and I'm going to be doing today a tutorial of what I like to call well what it's called but iPhone application programming and today we're going to make a base application which all people should start with called hello world and this requires no coding at all so if you haven't already download the uh, iPhone SDK and all you have to do is go to uh, Safari or any browser and this is for Mac only go to developer at apple.com slash iPhone and I'll have that link in the description then you're gonna have to log in and it'll ask you for your Apple ID and that's if you have a uh, iTunes account or you can just make one it's really easy then you go down to it'll oh let me log in here I'm gonna hide that for from you guys so you can see my uh, email or password All right, so now it's loading. Then you'll see the under. If you scroll down, you'll see downloads. You'll see iPhone SDK 3.0. You're gonna click the iPhone SDK 3.0 Leopard download. And I guess Snow Leopard is if you're a develop, uh, developer for Mac. So that's that. Now you're gonna go to. Uh, you're gonna have to open up this application called Xcode which looks like that and if you don't know where that is you go to Finder Macintosh HD or whatever your main hard drive name is go to the developer folder which looks like that right there double click that go down to the applications click that go down until you see Xcode and then you can double click it from there so I'm just gonna go ahead and double click it from there or you can open it from the dock now it might have this welcome menu but I disabled that, so you're going to go up to File, New Project, click on View Based Application, and click Choose. I'm going to name this one iPhone Video Demo. So then you can uh, expand the classes, and the uh, actually you can don't need to expand that, but you can expand the uh, Resources folder. Now, um. This will be sort of a little Photoshop thing too, so I'm going to open up Photoshop here. And this is just to create an icon for your um, for your application. So you don't have the uh, white little box, so I'm just going to name this iPhone Video Demo Icon. Uh, you, it has to be 57 by 57 pixels, and then you can change the resolution to whatever you want. Click OK. Now I'm going to expand this out and zoom it in, expand it out, zoom into 200%, so it's nice and big. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this a uh, black layer, so okay, and then the secondary layer I'm going to make uh, blue. Now that blue looks nice, so click OK, and now I'm going to switch back to my background window. I'm going to click on the paint bracket icon, and if you don't have that, click on the, it'll look, maybe it'll look like the gradient, hold down the gradient tool and click on paint bracket. Now I'm just going to click there, so it'll be nice and black. Now you're going to go up to layer, new layer, it's going to ask you if you want to make a new layer, click OK. Now you're going to click the text icon, and the text icon could either be the vertical type tool, horizontal type mask tool, or that too, but I have it on the horizontal. Now you're going to select the other color you have there, which is blue. Now I'm going to look for a good text. Uh, I'll choose impact. Now you're going to type in, I'm going to type in hello world. So I'm just going to do HW. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Um, let's see, how big can I make it? Uh, that might be a little big. Yeah, that's a little big, so I'll make it 10 font. Should be good enough. Mm, I'll just go with 9. Alright, 9's good, so that right there is good, so I'm going to go up to File, and then Save As, and you have to save this. I'm going to save this in under Desktop. I'll just save it on the desktop. Now you're going to want to save this as a PNG and then click save and then click OK. I'm going to ask you very quickly. You can click that 
So I need to save again. Now, I'm going to click on the resources folder and go to project, add project. Now, I'm, I had it on the desktop, so I'll click add. Now, you're going to want to check copy items. It just adds it already in there. So then it shows up in your resources. So you, <coughs> excuse me. You see this iPhone video demo dot info p dot p list. Click on that. Now I'll have all this. So you're gonna go to icon file and I name mine whatever your file name is. I name mine iPhone video demo demo. Sorry, I can't type icon dot png. And then here's where you put your company name. It's either org dot or no net dot your company name and your application name or com dot so I'm gonna do my and I'm gonna name this hello hello world there we go so now you'll see this file that says iPhone video demo or whatever your thing is view controller dot go ahead and double click that we'll load launch interface loader which looks like that now you're gonna see all these windows and if you don't you should have those two if you don't have this one go ahead and click click okay well let's just start if you don't have that one double click the view it'll load back that if you don't have these two the library and the attributes go to tools library which will add that and tools inspector so I'm gonna go ahead and add that now so you're also gonna add a one in another thing image for your sort of background so I have it here in my pictures folder I have a picture of the earth so the world click add again click copy click add so it'll add that in there so then you're gonna uh, go back to interface builder if you didn't already leave it open now you're going to want to I'm gonna change the background to black I like it black. So then I'm gonna drag in the image view, let it go ahead and let it fill up the whole place. Now I'm gonna click on my icon. Now it may mess it up a little, which is what mine did. That's alright. Alright, I got the spinning beach ball of death here. So I'm gonna drag that up a little. Get it right there at the bottom. Drag it in a little so it's nice and neat. Drag that up a little. Now I'm going to insert some text. So you're going to want to go down to label and get that right at the top and nice and centered. So I'm going to say hello world. Now you're going to want to change the size of that so and make it centered. So click if you don't have the label the uh, label attributes, then you gotta click on this little slider looking thing, or click Command One. So I'm gonna click Centered. Now for the font, you just click on whatever that is. I'm gonna make the font 64. Drag that over. That's a little big, so I'll change that to uh, 48. 48 or 30, 36 maybe. No, I want the 48. Alright, the 48 looks good. So, there we go. I'm going to drag that to uh, there. Go ahead and resize that. Right there. Now you're going to go to File, Save, or Command S. Uh, you can quit interface builder. Go ahead and quit. click build and go. And if asked you save, click save all. It should compile together and launch it in the iPhone simulator. There it is. Looks like that. So if I click command home, go home. That's what it'll look like. So. That, that, there you go. And then if you want to delete it, you click delete. That's it for this video. Uh, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.